This is breaking news from Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Go today. I had a name. And I want my name back. Indiana Attorney General Curtis Hill is not stepping down. In fact, he made a dramatic return to his desk to show that he's continuing to work as the investigation into inappropriate behavior continues. Good afternoon. I'm Scott Swan. Curtis Hill is speaking out today for the first time since four women accused him of groping them at a party. Our Rich Van Wyke was at that news conference. He joins us now from the State House. Rich, what else did the AG say? He had a lot to say, Scott. He had a prepared statement. He read from it. It lasted just under seven minutes long. During those nearly seven minutes, he denied the allegations against him. He was unapologetic. He uh, called his head. The calls for his resignations are unwarranted, and he has no intention of resigning. The attorney general portrayed himself as a victim of a rush to judgment, denied his right to due process. I stand before you a condemned man, condemned without trial, condemned without notice, condemned without the benefit of any basic rights that ensure fairness. These past several days have witnessed my name and reputation dragged through the gutter in ways I would have never imagined. Not only was I already convicted, it was without an opportunity to be heard, let alone receive any notice of the accusations. I now stand falsely and publicly accused of abhorrent behavior. These false allegations have irretrievably damaged my reputation. The Attorney General wasted no time after his statement leaving the room without answering reporters' questions. He went, as he called it, back to work to get a job done. He said he could not answer reporters' questions because of the investigations that are now underway or getting underway. He said, though, Scott, he welcomes talking about that once the investigation is completed. This is a story we'll continue to follow. All right, Rich, thank you so much from the State House today. Now, the representative who made those allegations that the AG had touched her inappropriately is responding to the comments, saying in part, Curtis Hill, through his actions, has betrayed the public trust and lied about his actions to the very citizens that he serves. I will continue to cooperate with any and all investigations into this matter until such a time that Curtis Hill is held accountable for his abhorrent behavior.